So we took a murine model of uh, our chronic arsenic exposure where our mice were exposed to environmentally relevant levels of arsenic in their drinking water over five weeks. So to put it in perspective, if we talk about arsenic and old lace, we're talking about acute, very high uh, dose exposures. Uh, and we've known that arsenic is probably the perfect poison uh, you know, for thousands of years. However, what we're more concerned with is the low amount of arsenic that uh, is uh, found in drinking water as well as in food. Arsenic's the 21st most ab abundant element in the Earth's crust, and most of the contamination uh, in drinking water is uh, from the bedrock uh, that wells are in. After arsenic exposure, we first subjected the animals to a acute muscle injury, which we induced via cardiotoxin injection. We then evaluated muscle regeneration and functional recovery two weeks after injury. What we found was chronic arsenic exposure in our animal models results in a significant uh, decrease in the ability of skeletal muscle to regenerate after an acute injury response. And this was associated with a decreased functional recovery as measured by force producing capacity of the muscles. The impact of arsenic exposure was uh, significant in the sense that it does seem to set up the muscle for an impaired healing response after an acute injury. The other thing that was interesting is we noted a, a very dramatic alteration in the skeletal muscle uh, myomatrix where we saw a dysfunctional extracellular matrix remodeling after injury. We obtained skeletal muscle from both control and arsenic exposed animals and we completely decellularized the muscle so that we were left with nothing but the extracellular matrix. This allowed us to have a three-dimensional construct whereby we then uh, obtained uh, naive human muscle stem cells and we seeded it onto the ECM constructs that were derived from control and arsenic exposed animals. What we found was the direct effect of the arsenic exposed matrix drove the stem cells towards a fibrogenic conversion and seemed to inhibit the capacity of our stem cells to form uh, my myotubes. Arsenic uh, seems to be working through a signaling pathway called NF-kappa B. One of the striking uh, results is that if we blocked this activation of the NF-kappa B program, we saw that the arsenic uh, exposed muscles recovered just, uh, just fine. So that actually points to a possible intervention in the future uh, to help people who might be coming into surgery or might have been exposed to arsenic and, and need to recover uh, muscle function. So these findings suggest that potentially individuals who display an impaired healing response after injury or a surgical ex um, procedure, for example, um, this it may have been previously disregarded as insidious in nature. Our findings suggest that, in fact, it may be contributed by environmental exposures.